and I are sitting here in the Jeep. We just took shower. <laughs> shower, not, not multiple, just one together. <laughs> I shower with my goat, yes, don't judge me. I just wanna talk a second about the universe and how it works in mysterious ways and never push back, just trust in the universe. So yesterday, I wanted to swing into Dunsmere. My friend Kelly owns a hostel there called Crossroads. This is probably gonna be your last year and I just wanted to say hey. And uh, then I figured I'd crash in Shasta City or camp somewhere out there because it's a beautiful area. I was thinking maybe Shasta Lake. Um, but when I went to go to her exit, it was weird. I took the wrong exit and I know her exit. And then I was like, well, I'll see you next time around. I was like, I'll just go to Shasta. Well, then that whole exit was blocked off because of construction. So I was kind of bummed, but I was like, you know what? The universe must have something else planned for me. I'm going to meet some really cool people or something's going to happen. And then I got out here. I decided I'd go see Feather Falls because I was told by Ranger Rick on the PCT last year I needed to check it out, not just because it has the same name as me. And I uh, got up there and found out the loop was really long, too long for her and too hot to take her on just yet. So I was kind of bummed about that. And I was like sitting there, I was like, okay, come on, stay positive. Something's supposed to happen. Um, found this campsite, met some amazing people this morning, Barbara and Doug, and they brought me a huge bag of feathers, all different kinds. They got hawk feathers, turkey feathers. They, they hike every day and she's been collecting them. She's like, finally something to do with them. So that was amazing, had great conversation. And then I just had a ranger give me a token here at this campsite because I was all ready to shower and didn't realize I needed tokens. Stupid on me, but super, super sweet. Um, and then as I'm about to go into the shower, I, I hear her on the radio talking about how there was a huge earthquake in Shasta City and they think the dam's compromised and uh, they're considering evacuating and they're talking over this radio. While I was gonna be camping out, I would have been camping there this morning. So, uh, Never push back. It just spooked. It was a 5 -oh. Hey, look at this. One of them ball things and a beautiful feather. Wow, last time I saw this kind was on trail. I found a feather with a reef. <laughs> Her happy I found a feather. <laughs> Get out of there. That's where they cook things like you. Oh, are not crazy? Are not crazy? Is hers happy goats? Is hers happy goats? <laughs> I think your behind end runs faster than your front. I think I think. Her free wild goats! Her free wild goats! 
Yeah! Yeah! Wow, look at them jumps! A whole lot of woodpeckers just can't fly. What I've noticed in these trees, which is really kind of comical, the squirrels have gone through, or chipmunks, and shoved nuts in all the holes. <laughs> a lot of them. That's for winter time. And they can find them. Or is that how the tree seeds nuts? That's really strange. Maybe that's actually how the tree does it. Shoot, I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> what is that though? It looks like the tree has pimples. Ew, I need to clean my fingernails. Always something to learn. How cool is that though? Really kind of bizarre. We're just in there trying to get these little nuts out of the, the seeds. We're doing the cheater campsites right now because I'm just trying to get her adapted to staying in a tent and, you know, sounds and noises of outside <laughs> before I take her on anything serious. She still insists on going in her potty bin even when we're outside, so <laughs> we've got a little ways to go, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Do you like camping? Do you like camping, Little Leaf? Must be one of your feathers I got. These woodpeckers are hilarious. There's a million of them in this campsite and they're beautiful. They're red and black and white. Same as the feather I found, obviously from one of them. If you can hear it, not sure if you can hear it. For the kids, but there's a deer walking around outside our tent. <laughs> Probably smells her alfalfa. Why are you way over there with the leaf? You're not even snuggled with your mommy. You're being a big girl. Miss Independent. It's a deer. It's a deer. <laughs> 